All right, here we go. We're going to start up number two engine first, looking at the exhaust. Uh, this is the engine that we heated. As you can see, the exhaust on the right-hand side on the top of the cab. There, that's the number one exhaust. A uh, number two engine started with the exhaust. And now he's going to start uh, the number one engine, which is on the left side of the cab. You know, the, at the top of the cab on the left side will be the exhaust for the number one engine. And we're going to compare the exhaust between the two. Uh, it's when we turned the system off, uh, we were at a temperature of uh, about 100 degrees, between uh, 95 and 100 degrees on the on the uh, sensors throughout the engine. As you can see, how much exhaust is coming out of the non-heated engine, and this is what the residents are uh, complaining about: is all this smoke. Uh, when they start these locomotives up in the morning, uh, as you can tell, and, and the engine can barely stay running. Uh, then they have to use starting fluid. And yesterday when we ran the test on the 6KW unit, uh, they, we noticed about half the exhaust. Uh, that temperature was around uh, 80 degrees. And, uh, uh, he, he said the number two engine, which had our heater on it, uh, started off and started right up on the first crank, where they had to uh, use starting fluid on the uh, number one engine, the one that was not heated, uh, just to keep it running. So, Rick. yes, what a difference, huh? Like night and day. Rick. Great, yes. And that's uh, Toshi. Uh, the gentleman we've been uh, working with, as you can see, they're very happy with the results. And uh, this should be an interesting uh, customer. They are actually going to pass this word along to other locomotives, uh, companies in this area. And uh, they're very pleased with the results on this uh, test. So uh, it all looks good. Uh, everybody happy.